What is trade secret protection and why is it important? Trade secret protection is an alternative to patent or trademark law that allows for intellectual property to remain undisclosed. The subject matter of a trade secret may be virtually any information that is valuable because it is not generally known. Trade secrets have enormous economic value. A study released in March of 2014 estimated that trade secret misappropriation costs the world's top 40 economies 1-3% to of their gross domestic product each year. Information protected by trade secrets is often valuable because it is unknown and not readily ascertainable. What advantages and disadvantages come with trade secret protection? Trade secret protection carries both advantages and disadvantages. The decision to use trade secret law instead of other kinds of protection depends on the nature of the intellectual property to be protected. Unlike the 20-year time limit for the protection of patents, there is no definite time limit placed on trade secret protection. This indefinite future protection is appealing if the intellectual property to be protected is likely to remain generally unknown well into the future. Although there is no definite expiration of trade secret protection, the protection has its limits. It only prohibits the disclosure or use of the trade secret by one to whom the secret was disclosed in confidence. Unlike patent law, trade secret law does not offer any affirmative protection against the use of the intellectual property if it is independently derived or reverse engineered by a competitor. Consequently, if the intellectual property to be protected is a new method of manufacturing a product, and if that method of manufacture is ascertainable from an examination of the product, then the best form of protection for the intellectual property is most likely patent protection. As the U.S. Supreme Court noted in Bonito Boats v. Thunder Craft Boats, state trade secret law has never given the holder of a trade secret protection against reverse engineering by the public or a competitor. The Supreme Court commented that in order to receive protection from reverse engineering, the holder of the intellectual property must seek the protection of federal patent law. In summary, some pros and cons of trade secret protection are Pros Trade secret law provides indefinite future protection so long as the trade secret stays a secret. Trade secret protection prevents the disclosure or use of the trade secret by one to whom the secret was disclosed in confidence. Cons if someone comes up with the same idea on their own, the trade secret is no longer protected by law. Trade secret law does not give the holder of a trade secret protection from any reverse engineering. How is trade secret law different from copyright, patent, or trademark law? Unlike copyright and patent law, novelty and tangibility requirements do not apply to trade secret protections. Additionally, patent and trademark law involve an affirmative assertion of an intellectual property right, while trade secret law only actively operates after a misappropriation or threatened misappropriation of the trade secret has occurred. Unlike patents and copyrights that fall under federal law, trade secret protection, until very recently, emanated from state law. What is the legal history of trade secret law in the U.S.? The concept of trade secrets first appeared in the American legal system in the case of Vickery v. Welch in 1837. The Massachusetts Supreme Court first explained trade secret law in modern terms in Peabody v. Norfolk in 1868. Since the Peabody decision, the courts have addressed trade secret issues many times. However, because each state may regulate trade secret law independently, each state has developed its own legal regime to regulate and protect trade secrets. To harmonize and standardize trade secret law in the United States, the Uniform Law Commission published the Uniform Trade Secrets Act, or UTSA in 1979. The UTSA sought to create a uniform trade secret law regime from state to state. However, the UTSA itself was not binding upon states. For the UTSA to be successful, the states needed to adopt and enact the model UTSA statute with any modifications or customizations each state legislature desired to make. Thus, each of the 48 states that adopted the UTSA may have had a slightly different adaptation. But on May 11, 2016, the Federal Defend Trade Secrets Act, DTSA, was signed into law, thereby creating a federal cause of action for trade secret misappropriation that largely mirrored the law formed under the Uniform Trade Secrets Act, UTSA.